uh, get his gun rights. Oh, I am. Damn it, I am. Because, yeah, you're right. The ex-felon was the trooper that he'd saved. So let's go there. <laughs> Gosh darn Okay. It. All right. So the <laughs> this was where? Georgia? Texas? Arizona. Arizona. I was close. Somewhere down there. It wasn't Michigan. And uh, the guy that saved the, the, the state trooper's life was an ex-felon, right? He was convicted for stealing TVs from some group home or something he worked at. Got his rights restored. Was able to carry a gun and protected the state trooper who was, be, uh, was uh, actually shot and was getting his head bashed into the concrete on the side of the road when this guy came up and, and helped him out, shot the guy, killed him, and probably saved the trooper's life. That was the ex-felon. And so when, the point I wanted to bring up was we get a lot of so-called pro-gun people that are so anti-felon. Right. You know, they say... Oh, if you're a felon, you, you shouldn't, you know, you shouldn't have a gun. You, you you made a mistake and you should never have your gun. Well, if they're dangerous to society, right, they should be in jail. If somebody writes a check over a certain amount, that's a felony. Is that a violent crime? Do they deserve to lose their gun rights forever for that? No. Here's a case and a good a good example of restoring gun rights to felons. Well, and look, so anyways. I, look, I mean his crime was bad but he was he stole electronic items from a group home that he right. was working in right he it's not like he uh, beat an he, old he, woman he, and <clears throat> stole her purse right exactly now yeah to me it is a little unclear was he charged with a felony because it says um i thought he was that convicted. he convinced the judge a judge to lower it to a misdemeanor i thought it was after his well that's what so in two it, the charges were in 2000 and in 2003, a superior court judge vacated his guilty judgment and restored his rights to possess a gun. Right. So I so, guess later on, it was. Yeah, I think, think it was a felony. He yeah. was convicted. Yeah. And therefore prohibited from owning firearms. Now, I will tell you, he has some tattoos. A lot of tattoos. Yeah. So, I mean, that's scary. And I, I don't know. I mean, if you have tattoos, I don't know. I don't know if you can be trusted, right? Because he was a felon. Kind of scary looking. Oh, geez. He's got gauges in his ears. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Mm -hmm. You're kind of scary looking. I know, but I don't have any tattoos that you know of. Woman's March. <clears throat> oh, wait a minute. Let's do... No, let's... look, my point is I completely agree with everything you said. Right. Thank you. You want to do Madonna or woman, <laughs> well, Women's March? Well... Do you want to do what Madonna? I'm gonna, what I'm going to say... Phrasing. What I'm going to say is I voted for Hillary Clinton after some of the promises she made. Yeah. Absolutely. That's not true at all. There's nothing Madonna could promise me. Well, uh, she has a lot of money. She's in her mid-50s, too. I don't care. She has a lot of money. She still looks pretty I don't good. want anything from her. I'm talking oh, about if she offered me enough money, I may have voted you, for Hillary Give you a Clinton. car. Yeah, I, you, you. Uh, a nice car. No, I don't even I mean, at, any car. I, Listen, I, mean, I know who you are. At, at, least, a, <laughs> at least a Kia. You'll, t <laughs> you'll take any car. 2012 and newer. Oh, that is nice. Yeah. <laughs> Never had one of those. I, I have a 1999, so I'm not even in the century. Yeah. Let alone the millennium. Ah, but it's a good old GM. It is. It still it's runs. still huh? running. God, I love it. It's my Suburban, I love it. I've owned, like, all GMs, and then then I bought a Plymouth, so I don't know what the deal is there, but Well, yeah, but okay. it's a 47. <laughs> yeah, but still. You drive, a, you drive still. a Buick, so I don't know what you're yeah. talking about. Yeah, right. All right. Let's listen to what Madonna said about oh, blowing up, blowing the White House. Okay. <laughs> God. Oh, hang on. It All right. It helps. To have it cued? Steve. I'm angry. Me too. <laughs> yes. I am outraged. <clears throat> yes. I have thought an awful lot about blowing up the White House. Huh? But I know that this won't change anything. Well, I think it would. She it might change. <laughs> if she well, blew up the White House. Well, if she the White House, it would change some things. And sure. just making that statement may change some things in her life. I saw Independence Day. Uh, and she, <laughs> yeah, I think she has since stopped thinking about blowing up the White House. Or at least she stopped talking about it. And blowing things. And 
Yeah, she never followed through with that, mm. by the way. No. Um, the promises she made for anybody that voted for Hillary Clinton. But what do you expect from Madonna? She was speaking at the Women's March. She was right? at the Women's March. and Another speaker was there. <clears throat> yeah, I don't remember her name. I, no. You never said if you wanted to talk about no, her. No, we can talk about but her. She really. was one of the headliners. A psychopath. Like, and she's like super into like uh, freedom and equality and women's rights. Prison and reform. She's held up on it. And f- prison reform, which is, I'm she, okay with that. Yeah. She's in favor of it because she spent 25 years there. Right. Uh, because she tortured and murdered and somebody. murdered and raped a gay, a gay, gay. man yeah. back in the 80s. Yeah. And now she is the spokesperson for women's right. Good job. Yeah. Did anybody look at that or they're just... Like, oh, Does no one vet anybody it's, anymore? It's okay. Yeah. I mean, that's probably what they're thinking is. You can get I a mean, background check look, for like $10 online. She served her time, right? Right. So she's, she's vindicated. Re- she's and reformed. that gay guy deserved it. That's right. And he one was. person. He was a criminal. And one person that was doing it, they sodomized him with a steel pipe. Yep. And she said, <laughs> he liked it because he wiggled. Yeah. Then I put it yeah, up say, as I know he's gay. Anus. Yeah. Well. It was three feet long. Yeah. I'd wiggle, too. <laughs> Jeez. It's really a horrible story. It is you horrible. Should, I can't. What is it, Donald Wilton or something? I don't know. But the, the thing is, you shouldn't torture and kill people. Donna Hilton. Oh, H-Y-L-T-O-N, her. H-Y-L-T-O-N is, is the woman's name. You should, She's a sociopath. You can Google her name, Donna Hilton, and see. Uh, read the story if you're interested. It's, what's, what's it's odd. terrible. <laughs> What's odd is there's no Wikipedia on her. Yeah, that is odd, isn't it? What What did you do? I don't know. The security dogs are going nuts. I think somebody breached our perimeter. I think so. <clears throat> I don't know. <sighs> we are in North Korea, what, so, so it's, it's what, horrible. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what do you think the... Uh... <laughs> Will you stop doing that? I think they want us to come to dinner now. I don't know. What do you... <laughs> Uh, some kimchi. What do you? What do you? What do you think? Uh, were you at the women's march? I was. I was no, and I was no, I wasn't. Okay, my cousin was my communist cousin. Yeah, so that's not helping. This will help. <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing with that? Red rocket! Red rocket! Red rocket! Stop it! All right, where are we? We're almost time to go, right? Are we done with the women's march? Yeah. Uh. Okay. Gosh, voter fraud? Yes, yes, there is. Yeah, that that's really all there is to say about I mean, that. Is I, the, I, every liberal news outlet's going, well, there's no evidence of voter fraud. There's never been any voter fraud. Jeez, there's been voter fraud ever since there's been voting. Well, not only that, but... Uh, Chicago, for instance. The Green Party, uh, what the heck was her name? Uh, I don't remember. Jill her Stein. Yeah, Jill. Her little recount act that she did. Just the little bit that got done before it was canceled uncovered voter fraud right. in this election. And a lot of it in Michigan. And the other <laughs> the other point is Detroit. If there is no voter fraud, mm-hmm. why won't the liberals let Donald Trump go through with the investigation and uh-huh. then look like an idiot on right. the other side? Sure, you would welcome his investigation. You might help him with sure. it. Say, here you go. Look at it. It's clean plate. Yeah. I don't I not, don't understand. Not so much. I don't understand. Okay, we're almost so. Done. So now what? Yeah, we're we've got, you got a minute. So what do you want to oh, say in a minute? Oh boy, budget cuts. I'm in favor of budget cuts. Um, yeah, we'll I'm especially in favor if it's like uh, national endowment for the arts. Arts gone. Yep. Boom. Humanities gone. Yep. Uh, you know what? And we'll minority survive. business development agency. That's what capitalism and private banks are for, right? Yeah, loaning yeah, money abs- to businesses. Abs- absolutely, and. And frankly, having an agency and in, in thinking that minorities and other any any select group of individuals that they need a specialized agency to help them be successful, I think is racist. Economic Development Administration. What the hell do they do? Not economic oh. development. Oh, we, we help distressed communities with their infrastructure. Why? There's a reason why they're distressed. Yeah, because <laughs> you've been helping. Oh boy. Uh, International Trade Administration eh. helps American businesses sell more products overseas. Okay, that's good. But if they had a good product and people overseas wanted to buy it, we don't need them, right? Mm-hmm. Manufacturing Extension Partnership. 
All right. So a bunch of stuff being cut. Yeah. I'm in favor. We are out of time, though. At oddshow.com, facebook.com slash at oddshow. See you next week. Bye-bye.